exceptional. It has the diamond shape pattern uh, that is classical and typical of Cook's June 10th, 1837 patent. And if you look down here, you can see another diamond shape. On October 1st, 2014, the United States Army Signal Corps Officer Candidate School Association acknowledged the Cook and Wheatstone telegraph system for its position as the first perfected commercial electric communication system in the world. This was on their official website. seen before, the clockwork mechanism printing telegraphs were complicated. The needle telegraph worked, and if you look at Wheatstone's five needle telegraph that was used on Cook and Wheatstone's earliest installation, one of the railway test installations, you'll see that it's a, a diamond shaped dial with um, 25 letters of the alphabet, leaving off the letter Q because uh, you needed a, an even number or a, a number that would divide into five. And uh, the way that works is that if you look at the layout of the letters, you'll see that they're spaced evenly. And between each pair of letters, there are needles sitting vertically. And there's a letter here, a letter here, a letter here, a letter here. So when you operate and send a letter code, two needles will move together and they will point to a single letter. And they can move this way, they can move this way, point to a letter below. Or this one moves here and the one over here moves this way. And so with those combinations of the five needles, you could get um, the entire alphabet, um, but little, little annoying to read, and um, you know, fairly big and complex mechanism. So the next development was really the, the dial telegraph, where at one end you would operate a handle that would rotate a pointer to the letter you wanted to send, and that would send an impulse down the line, which rotated uh, a readout dial at the other end to the same letter. So you could operate this fairly quickly. You would rotate the letter and pause for the signal, rotate the next letter. So you can actually transmit fairly quickly with this. And unlike in the USA, where um, by this time, people were using Morse code, you had to learn Morse code and become skilled at sending it and skilled at reading it. This could be used by anybody that knew the alphabet. Um, so perhaps um, it may not have been as fast as Morse code because a, a good Morse operator could be very fast indeed. And here you've got, you've got to rotate. It's like dialing a dial telephone where you've got to wait for the dial to come back to position. You've got a, a time lag just to get the pointer in position on each letter, whereas with the key you're just sending continuously. But obviously it's as simple as you use for, the, for an untrained operator. Mm -hmm. 